Okay, welcome back. So here's an interesting problem for you. Perhaps you find a 3.8% solution by volume in the lab of methanol in methylene chloride. So methanol is the solute in methylene chloride that would be the solvent. And you want to convert this to a mass percent because your boss wants you to know what is that in mass percent. So how would you go about doing this kind of problem? Uh, well, you'd actually need a little bit more information. So in a world uh, that we live in, right, you might not be told it, so you might have to just go figure it out. So on an exam, I'll give you these problems, and on the homework, they're probably given too. But you need the densities. So the densities of these are 0.792 and 1.33 grams per milliliter. And that turns out to be enough information to go from percent by volume to percent by weight. So pause the video and go ahead and try that. And when you're happy, unpause it and we'll go through it together. And uh, if not, have a little go. If you get stuck, I'll try and give you another little hint and then we'll work it together. Okay, pause. Okay, unpause. So here's the hint here. So how would you do something like this? And I never really know how to do these problems. So um, I sometimes flail around, but a really good thing to do is to start with uh, what you're asked to convert it into and just kind of define that. So percent by mass means that you want to find the mass of the solute, so the mass of methanol. And that's divided by the mass of the whole solution. Remember, it's not just the solvent, it's the whole shebang. So the mass of the solution. And it probably doesn't really matter what units for mass you use, as long as you use the same ones on the top as the bottom. So that would be my next hint. So if that's enough to, to get you going, go ahead and pause and finish it off. Or uh, just go ahead and wait a second or two and I'll work through it together. All right, so we need these two things here. So we can take the 3.8% by volume as a conversion factor, and it's basically telling us there's 3.8 milliliters in 100 milliliters. So there's 3.8 milliliters of methanol, I'll write it like that, in 100 milliliters of the solution. Okay, so uh, what do we need here? So above here, we need the mass of methanol. So we've got the volume of methanol. We can convert it to a mass, so 3.8 milliliters is a volume and uh, how are we going to do that well density is mass over volume so if we want to know mass that is density times by volume so i can take that volume and that density and i can just put one next to the other we'll see that the milliliters cancel out and we'll end up with grams and i think that is what 3.0 grams Okay, you should probably keep an unrounded number on your calculator, but that's pretty darn close anyway. So that's really the top there. So we'd have three grams there. What about the mass of the whole solution? Well, if we were given the density of the solution, we could figure it out. But uh, we know the mass of the solution is the mass of the solute added to the solvent. And we've already got this solute here. So if we don't know the whole solution's density, then we can just go ahead and say, well, what mass of CH2Cl2 would we have? So uh, we've got the density, and uh, we can figure out the volume. So how do we do that? So CH2Cl2, uh, we know that 100 milliliters of the solution contains 3.8 of methanol. So we can just subtract. So 100 minus 3.8. Uh, is equal to 96.2 milliliters of CH2Cl2, or methylene chloride for short. We want to turn it into a mass. So again, like down here, mass is density times volume. So the mass of methylene chloride is the density, 1.33 grams per mil times the volume, 96.2 mils. The mils cancel out, we're left with grams, and I get 127.9 Okay, or 128 grams. Now I am ready to go. So the percent by mass, I just need the mass of methanol over the mass of solution. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So the percent by mass is my three grams divided by my mass of my solution. Well, that's the mass of the solute plus the mass of the solvent. Okay, and as a percent, that means I times that by 100. And when you do that, you should get the answer. And on my calculator, I'm getting 2.9%. So that is so that is 2.9% by mass, so weight, weight. So for every 100 grams of this solution, 2.9 grams of methanol, as opposed to up front, for every 100 milliliters of solution, 
3.8 was methanol. So you can see sometimes it's very convenient using volumes. If you're measuring things out with a cylinder, you're going to get volumes and their volume percents are more useful. But if you're weighing things out, then uh, mass percents are more useful. And I've just noticed there I didn't put the percent there. So it's 2.9% by weight. So did you get it right? I hope so. Good luck.